we'd ever enjoy now, regardless of income or occupation. But once recovered from employment-induced exhaustion, nearly all of us will want to act. The ludic life is totally incompatible with existing reality. The gravity hole that sucks the vitality from the little in life that still distinguishes it from mere survival. I say we should end employment. Conservatives support right-to-work laws. I support the right to be lazy. Trotskyists agitate for permanent revolution. I agitate for permanent revelry. But if all the ideologues, as they do, advocate work, they're strangely reluctant to say so. They will carry on endlessly about wages, hours, working conditions, exploitation, productivity, and profitability. They'll gladly talk about anything but work itself. Unions and management agree that we ought to sell the time of our lives in exchange for survival, although they haggle over the price. Discipline is what the factory and the office and the store share with the prison and the school and the mental hospital. Such is work. Play is just the opposite. Play is always voluntary. What otherwise might be play is work if it's forced. One in my pocket, and the other one in the high Thank you. 